Hi staff, in this video we will walk through different ways a student can enlarge content on their screen on a Chromebook. Given that the screens are smaller, um, it's much easier to see things that are larger. But the way that you go about this depends on the use. So the one that many are familiar with is going to accessibility and using either the full screen magnifier or the dock magnifier. And this will enlarge a very small part of the screen. The challenge is, is it can be a little challenging to see everything and turn this on and off as you have kind of have to navigate and slide around the screen. The second, and I show because I am in a Google slide and it does a little bit different, is control plus or minus. So if I hold down the control key and I tap the plus, you'll notice that it enlarges the slide itself, but it doesn't enlarge any of the menus. And so this can be beneficial if I just need to see the information on um, the slide closer. I also have control shift plus. And when I do this, you'll notice that it enlarges the whole screen and it will slowly move the screen in so that I can see it. And then I just control shift minus out of that. You also have the zoom that is always available underneath the three dots. So if a student were to click the three dots, they can click the plus or minus here to zoom in and out. Now, if a student needs this solution regularly and it's not appropriate for them to be zooming in and out, you'll want to go into the settings on the Chromebook. and we'll go to device and we'll go to displays. And here I can change the display size. So this is actually um, more like the screen resolution. And so I can go to a larger display size and this controls my display. It should then readjust to fit everything inside the window. Do be aware that this can be effective um, most of the time, but it can be a little bit challenging if, um, the menus or things get so big that a student has a hard time seeing the content on the screen. And there's only so much you can do in something like Google Slides to kind of hide some of these things. And so playing around with these different options will give students um, what they need in order to see content in an enlarged format.